When the Baltimore Neighborhood Indicators Alliance was started um, 15 years ago, the idea was that we had neighborhoods in the city of Baltimore changing so fast that it was hard to keep track. The importance of a neighborhood is why we do the work we do. And even though we don't always really contemplate what our neighborhood does for us, we now have a lot of research that shows that the neighborhoods that we live in absolutely um, help shape who we become. The reason why we need better data to understand the context of the neighborhoods that we live in is the same way you need to know, for example, the composition of the soil that you're trying to grow a plant in. The soil itself determines how well your rose bush is going to grow, you know, the nitrogen and the phosphorus. And the same thing about our own bodies. You know, when you go to the doctor's office and you get your vital signs, you need to know your blood pressure and your temperature and your hemoglobin level. Those things are not who we are, but they reflect our physiology. And the neighborhood does the same thing for us. Knowing the crime rate, the median sales price, the days on the market, they all represent the context that we live in. And they do influence what we can and cannot do, whether we directly know it or not. When we had a series of roundtable conversations with community organizations, with local foundations, with city stakeholders, um, we realized that we didn't have anything around this concept of arts and culture. It is hard to describe, it's hard to quantify, and yet without it, our neighborhoods wouldn't function. You don't have to be an arts and entertainment district to have art going on in your, and culture going on in your neighborhood, and we wanted to daylight that. Because the more we can provide and encourage, and it's already going on, um, these kind of inclusive opportunities, the more we can build social cohesion within our neighborhoods, the more we can get to better well-being for all residents in every neighborhood. The ultimate goal of the work that we do is to make sure that our work is so embedded into how people do their normal work is that it becomes almost like second nature to go take a look at your vital signs, go take a look at your community-based indicators, that every neighborhood, every, every year when the vital signs come, report comes out, we'll put it on the agenda, take a look, make sure things are in range, and help neighborhoods better understand what a healthy neighborhood set of indicators might be.